fucking eye. Ah. What is going on, YouTube? One only X Ram here. Woo. Boy. What a fucking week. <laughs> oh, man. So, today's video is quite literally a life update. Because, holy balls, does it get busy. Probably going like, where the hell is X Ram going to put up a video? I don't even know either. I have no idea. Hopefully this video will go up sometime this week. <laughs> ah, so just that, so we can see some beautiful scenery. Anyway, so what the fuck have I been doing? What have I been up to? Why in the world do I wait two, three weeks before putting out content? It's not because I'm busy doing content, that's for damn sure. Oh man, so uh, first and foremost, I got married. <laughs> I got married yesterday actually, uh, and it was a beautiful, intimate little wedding. Very private, very lovely, nicely done. My friends and family really helped out and stepped up to get you know the final details of this wedding complete. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of up in what it looks like to be a mountainside. So, what my fiance and I decided to do for our wedding was we didn't want to have it to be that massive. We also didn't want to have it at any real venue. And a couple reasons for that, but the main reason was for the amount of time you'd actually spend there and then the amount of money it costs to do it, to us it seemed kind of asinine. So, we figured, hey, we got a bunch of family coming in from out of town. How about we rent an Airbnb that's big enough for our immediate family and will allow us to host our little wedding ceremony and then the reception in it all in one place. It was tricky to do. Uh, a lot of places have rules on weddings and parties and stuff like that. They have rules on the amount of guests. They have rules about animals you can bring because we're going to bring dogs. You know, so there are a lot of hurdles to get over. But we finally were able to find a place that could do everything we were looking for. And, man, I tell you what. If you're looking to try to do a wedding, there's, we have gotten so many compliments on how great of an idea this was because no one had to get a hotel room I mean yes friends will get a hotel room I'm sorry while we're friends <laughs> it's all about family and together and the cool thing is there's a lot of really nice resources a lot of really nice hotels around here so you can get one of those and then just swing by the house and hang out and then transform it into uh, the ceremony and then inside we set up tables and everything for our wedding reception we ate we had a catered and everything they're all in the house and then once the catering and all that good stuff was done we were at the tables and had a dance floor so i mean it was able to be housed all in one place and the ease of doing that is uh, i can't tell you how much that made our lives easier <laughs> because of being able to not have to, you know, everyone go from a hotel, then to a venue, then to another spot. It, it just makes life so much easier on your family, your friends, you. You got so much going on that, man, the little details will slip out. Especially if you're like us and don't have a wedding plan or anything like that. Oh boy. Oh, wait a I'm not getting gas, what am I doing? I'm getting, I'm getting petrol. See, that's what I need. I need some energy. I don't, I don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, we gotta get some crack here. And again, crack is Monster or Red Bull. So calm down, guys. I'll be back. Anyways, if I can knock a fucking side swipe with somebody, pulling in this fucking one like a good Jack Mook. So, 
yeah, uh, getting an Airbnb for a holster wedding is something that would make your life so much easier. Get a good caterer, get a party rental place, and just have them all dump it at the house. And voila! So that's obviously one major thing. Planning, getting that all squared away, and everything else. So, as I probably said in other videos, I'm back in, back in school and uh, finished my degree and whatnot. And what sucks about the particular schedule I have now, I'm at school five days a freaking week. <laughs> And I'm actually physically in class and well, I just had no time <laughs> I, I do class I go homework for a little while and then I go to another class and then I go to work and until December that's my life so the school aspect of this is very much so taking a lot of time out as it as I kind of figured it would the other component to this is that I do professional business admissions, which means that to do the upper level classes, which is all I have left, I have like two, two and a half semesters left, then I'm done, and I have to actually have a good GPA, which I do. I have to take a little exam that has um, like business communication statistics and uh, counting on it to kind of make sure I retain something and then I get to do pretty much an interview with a cover letter resume and stuff like that to actually get into these upper level courses now you know it's other school of business other school of management so you know all of their stuff is geared towards around real world experiences with interviews and you know that's great for 18, 19, 20 year olds that are going to be interning, that are going to be starting their careers, right? While I'm changing careers, I, I'm not new to interviews, nor am I new to the whole process in which you have to do an interview. Uh, so, while I'm, I'm probably less concerned with it as most of my college people will be uh, it's still something I have to put some effort into and really hopefully shine with it you know because of my age because of my experiences it's almost that I'm expected to do better than most and have a better interview than most because I've fucking done it I've done it been doing it for years so it's something I should definitely be better at than a normal college student would be so there's actually that expectation on me which uh, you know, I cherish, I like that stuff. It's a challenge. So there's that, you know, that's, it's a ton of stuff. And then, you know, obviously I have a business and my schooling is geared towards having a better formal foundation and adding credibility to my business and to my personal abilities within that, within my company. Not only that, uh, I like to change and cross over into the more into the business side of things with within the company with which I work, as opposed to the engineering side, which is where I'm at now. Uh, simply because I like business a lot better than I do engineering. I like the strategic planning of things. I like all of the aspects, and um, in order to do that, this degree is needed. Uh, so with my years of experience in the technical side, engineering side of things, it lends well to being able to manage in that area. So, you know, it, it's, only, it's only adding another tool to my arsenal for you know, being successful, especially it's successful to the extent that I want to be. So uh, there's, there's a lot going on. Uh, you know, on top of that, there's still the uh, allure of getting into a new house and or building a new house. You know, my fiance and I, oh, well, shit. <laughs> my wife and I now are 
very much looking to move from the place we are to a much much bigger and nicer house uh, so you know all of that's motivating to get me out of here and get me moving and all that good stuff Jesus Christ Whew. this is what my garage at the moment looks like my Airbnb not too shabby right <laughs> but yeah you know there's there's just so much that uh, I got going on and I really wish I would have ended this video earlier instead of in my garage but hey this isn't my house so I don't really care but uh, yeah now that lends a little insight to what I got going on I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my weekend you all have a good one I'm out